Hello and welcome to Subnautica News. I'm Pilar's Cage, and let's get right into the news. This is special episode because Subnautica developer posted on Reddit long info. It's that long that this video will include only reading it out loud. This post includes info about Subnautica main game updates and console versions, VR version progress, and last but not least, Subnautica expansion. Exernox will probably put timestamps right about now to where you can skip to the strict segment that you are interested in. But let's get to reading. Hey all, we've been pretty quiet for a while, because we've all got our heads down working hard. It's an exciting but busy time, and I just wanted to give you a quick update on what we're doing. Subnautica. We've been working on the Unity 2018 engine upgrade for Subnautica for a while now. It's not been easy. A lot of issues came with upgrading the engine which needed to be fixed, including bugs and visual glitches throughout the game. Finally, we think we've just about got it all done. So very soon we'll be putting this upgrade into the Steam experimental branch for much more testing. We'll need all the feedback we can get to make sure we didn't miss any issues before it goes out to the general public. You can opt into the experimental branch on Steam by following this guide. While we've been working on the engine upgrade, panic button, doom on switch port guys, have been working furiously on optimizations and the console versions of Subnautica. Because our code base for Subnautica is exactly the same across all platforms, a large amount of their optimizations for making consoles run better will make their way into the PC. Mac version 2. Lower end machines should see the most benefit from their work with things generally being a bit more stable in terms of frame rate and stability. You'll also get better controller support for Xbox and PS4 controllers. Their work done so far, with more coming, is ready to go into the Steam experimental beta, so we'll be merging their work first then our engine upgrade in the coming week or so. Look out for CS number 60529 and above, in-game F1 menu and top right. We would love to hear people's thoughts after trying it, and would love it even more if people could let us know how performance is for you against the older version. All critical comments are welcome. Once Steam experimental users have verified things are good with both panic button and our engine upgrade, we're going to put out an Xbox preview patch so Xbox users can start giving their feedback as well. We want the game to run as well as it can on all platforms so everyone can enjoy their gaming experience. We've also been doing some small quality of life fixes that have been requested for far too long. Done, improving subtitle speed for non-English users, adding a subtitle speed slider for those who need to adjust the text speed. In progress. VRPDA distance slider, we've found that personal IPD plays a significant role in how close the PDA feels in VR, and while it was fine for some people, for a lot of players it was far too close. Now we're working on a way to let you set the distance yourself in the options menu. We're not sure when this will be done, but we're trying to get it done ASAP. In progress, VR Seamoth docking fix. We're investigating the docking in Cyclops issue that's been a problem for a while. Subnautica expansion. Most of the Unknown Worlds team are working on the Subnautica expansion project. What started life as a DLC for the original game, turned into an expansion and now, its own standalone adventure. The team is very excited about the path we're taking and story we're going to tell. Breathing more life into the world of Subnautica on 4546B. We'll be announcing more about this project very soon. We're acutely aware that a huge part of Subnautica's success is due to you, our community. The forum posters, Steam commentators, Redditors, YouTubers, Twitch streamers, bug reporters, tweeters, Facebookers dot 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 all of you. So we'll be opening up development on the next Subnautica chapters Trello boards very soon. Some of us will also live stream what we are working on. Thanks for being with us. We hope you'll join us as we make a new Subnautica adventure on 4546B. Abraxis you. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.